We've held a press conference today um, to try and establish the whereabouts or what's happened to uh, Lisa Bennett, who was reported missing um, in May last year. The last sighting we have of Lisa is uh, the 9th of May last year when she was seen at a chemist in Northfield um, and she hasn't been seen since. Now, all the things that we do as part of our normal daily life, such as contact the bank, use phones, um, it doesn't appear that Lisa's done any of that. And um, I'm left with the unavoidable conclusion that Lisa's no longer with us. Every day, every morning, every night, when I go to bed, you know, the last thing I think about is Lisa. Where is she? What's happened to her? And it never, ever goes away. And I just want to find her and have some closure so that perhaps one day I'll never, never, ever forget Lisa, but it would just be nice to perhaps have some closure and grieve for her and have a funeral. And I mean, some days, I mean, I, I, I still go to work and it's better then when you're with people, it's when you're on your own and it suddenly hits you again. Or like I've said before, you can hear a song or somebody will say something and it just brings it all back or look at a picture of her. And it and just... you forget, it's like I forget sometimes and then I'll just... And then you will say something in a guilty. conversation. I'll say, yeah, Lisa's like that, you know what I mean? And it's just... It's not so it's much just what where happens, she is, it's, it's fine, you know, I isn't want... it? And I hope someone comes forward and lets us know where she is. It's unbelievable. The pain is just unbelievable. You don't have to leave your name, just ring, just give the information so that you can perhaps find Lisa. Anybody who's got any information in relation to uh, Lisa's life in the days and weeks running up to the 9th of May last year to get in touch. Um, this has been quite a complex and long-running investigation to establish what's happened to her. Um, and every little bit of the, the jigsaw is going to be vitally important. So even if people think what they know might be really insignificant, I'd still urge them to get in touch.